the merge sort algorithm works on the principle that it's easier to create a sorted list of items out of two lists if those two lists have already been sorted. So in this example here, we've got uh, two, four, six, eight, nine digits, uh, the digits from zero through eight, and we're going to sort them using the merge sort algorithm. So to begin, we're going to split the big list up into two sublists. Uh, you can do this recursively. I'm going to actually go in then to this smaller list, and I'm going to split that up into two smaller lists that I'll be sorting in a few minutes. And I'm going to split this list up into two smaller lists. And once your list size gets a value of one, once we're down to individual elements, that's when we use the combine method to try to combine those. Uh, these two lists have each been sorted. Here's a five sorted into one list, or, or a list of one element, five. And this is one element. Uh, so to combine these, we'd call some sort of method that would put them together into a new sorted list with two elements in it. So now those are in order. Now we're going to move up into our next aspect of it here, the next list, next sublist here. And um, I'm going to create in this list of two, I'm going to create from that two one element lists. Once I've got those, it's pretty easy to combine those into a sorted list. Of course, these were already sorted, so we're going to create a new sorted list, two and four. And now I can end up sorting these guys by just combining them. So these two lists have already been sorted. I can combine them 0, 2, 4, and 5. I'll combine them into one final sorted list for this side over here. Now we're going to go up to the same process, use the same process over on this side. Again, we'll split this up into two sublists, 8 and 6. And 731. Now we'll work on the left sublist here and split that up into individual elements. Once those individual elements have been created, we can combine those two small lists into a sorted list of two. If we move over into this list now, I have three elements here, so I'm going to split that up into two. Here's a seven on this side and a three one list over here. I need to in turn uh, split these guys up. Sorry, we'll have this first, the seven. This comes down and this is, uh, oh, that's already sorted, so we're good there. These guys, we'll have to split them up into smaller lists. We'll recombine them to make one and three. And now at this point, I can combine this sorted list with these sorted lists and come up with one, three, and seven starting to run out of space here a little bit. Now I'll combine these two lists. I'll have the one, the three coming over, the six coming over, the seven, and then the eight to produce one, three, six, seven, eight. And then the very last step in our merge sort is to combine these two sorted lists. And that of course becomes zero, one, two, three, four and five, and finally we have nothing left but these elements over here, six, seven, eight. So that's the merge sort algorithm.